Here's going to be a video on my oregano that I've been growing. And oddly enough, and I've never had this happen before, but this particular variety of oregano actually wintered over. So I'm a little surprised it wintered over because I've never had oregano winter over, at least since I lived here. Most of the varieties I grow are the standard Italian oregano, I think they call it. But this one wintered over. Some of them look like they're dying off a little bit. That could probably be something in the ground. Maybe the insects are killing some of the roots. But this one wintered over. It came up strong and nice. And I figured I'd do a taste test for you and uh, quickly taste this thing. So let's pick a leaf. Now, what variety of oregano this is? It just says oregano or standard oregano. It's not like Greek oregano or anything. It's this is standard oregano, but there are like a lot of subspecies of it. And I guess this one's a cold hardy type of uh, oregano. So let's give it a taste test and see what it tastes like. But here's the leaf first. It's the front side. That's the back. And that's the plant right here. It's a nice little bush. What's up guys? Okay, we're gonna taste test the oregano right here. Make sure you zoomed out. Nope, I don't want you to zoom, zoom down. And let's see what it tastes like. Fresh oregano, the way it is. Now, I like my oregano generally dry. I think it tastes better when it's dry, but it's actually better for you when it's moist because it has fresh oils in it and stuff like that. They're not oxidized. And if you know any, if you know anything about oils and stuff like that they get rancid very quickly and they contribute to inflammation in your body so if you're trying to lower inflammation you want to reduce your oil intake no matter what the oil is but oregano oil is uh, kind of a special thing um, it's very very good for you oregano oil will definitely cleanse your body so you do want to eat your oregano and let's give this one a taste test Mm. Comes in with a slight oregano flavor. Straight, straight forwards. Comes in with that oregano flavor when you first eat it, but then it gets like a green flavor to it. Just like any herb, like parsley or something. It comes and it goes really fast. See, when you dry oregano, you get that nice oregano flavor. It lasts a lot longer because it concentrates on you. So I generally like to eat my oregano dry unless I'm like cooking with it and I'm going to cook with it fresh like soups or or any kind of like if I'm going to prepare a piece of beef and I want to impregnate it with uh, oregano then I will pick it fresh and do it that way put you know put my uh, put my garlic in there and then wrap that piece of garlic with oregano and shove it inside of a little slit I make inside the steaks gives it a really good flavor it's a really cool thing to do but yeah, it's a, it just tastes like oregano, but very mild. I'm not sure what variety this is. It's just called oregano. As far as I know, that's all it's called. And that's it. So just a quick video on me doing a taste test for the oregano. And I'll give you one more look at the plant. Just like that. And that's it. I'll see you on the next one.